Hello everybody and welcome back to another instalment of Jude's World. Big hello to those of you if you're a regular viewer and if you're joining me for the first time I live in Selby in the UK and I work for an extremely well-known British supermarket. Before we make a start I just wanted to say big hello to Kai Latham and Mark Moore who I forgot to say hello to yesterday on my shout outs. Very very sorry I forgot. Now Today, I'm going to the hairdressers, and as most of you probably already know, of course, I've had a cold. So I thought it was probably wise that I did a lateral flow test before I go to the hairdressers. So, without further ado, let's get a move on with the lateral flow test. Okay, so for the lateral flow test, you will need the following ingredients. You will need an extraction tube holder. There is your tube holder there, which goes in there. We have got a disposable swab. We have got a, just a little disposable um, thing there to put all your stuff in then when you've done the test so that you can dispose it properly. We have got some solution by which to process your swab with and we've got the all important this is what you put your sample onto so let's get a move on now the first and most important thing is you must always sanitize your hands like so So, what you do is, you break that off, like so. And you pour into the extraction tube, like so. Now, secondly, we're going to take this. Try and get it from the right end. Yeah. This is the swab. So if you come with me, we're going to take a swab in the bathroom. Right, so it's easier just to do it in here. So you open your mouth. Uh-huh. And you swab your tonsils, or as near as you can to it, as you possibly can. Oh. And then secondly, you're going to swab your nose. However, before you do that, make sure you give your nose a really good blow. And it won't hurt. Make sure you double check for bogeys as well. Because believe me, if you snip this up, you know, then you get a bogey, you'll know about it. So here we go. Oh, God. Give it a really good swirl. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen. So what you do is you swirl your swab in the extraction tube, like so. You put this into the disposable bag. Make sure you get everything else as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the cap on like that. So it's kind of a bit like a dummy. And then what you do is as follows. Mm -hmm. 
you put a couple of squirts onto there where it says S. There. Right, so as you will see, that is now starting to fill up. And we're just going to wait for that to fill up now. Okay, so I've got to wait about half an hour just so that I can definitely see that the result is negative. But if you look there, there is a red line there. So we will wait and see what happens. Right, so this is about an hour later. You will see there is a clear red line up at the top and that means that my result is negative. So this means I can go and get my hair cut. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed watching this little vlog for today. And just to say, don't forget to record your results on the NHS website where you can record your results. And then this way, uh, the NHS are aware of who is taking the test and you will see all the details in the booklet that you get with your lateral flow test. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed watching this vlog for today. Um, and I will catch you all another time at Jude's World. I'd better get a move on. So, bye everybody!